because in order to open an account, you need to have an ID. Right. And um, I have to say that when, we, when I started this job, there were actually very little countries in Africa or Latin America that had one ubiquitous mm -hmm. type of ID. And certainly that <clears> it was digital. And certainly that it was biometric. And now uh, we've really worked with all our partners to actually help that being, uh, um, I mean, to grow this. And the interesting part of it is that, you know, yes, it is very necessary for financial services. But not only, so, you know, it's also good for school enrollment, it's also good for health who actually got a vaccination or not. Uh, it's, it's very good to actually to get your subsidies, you know, from the government. So this has not only effect to the financial... Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah, Chodash, for giving us the understanding of the Holy Bible through your men, the apostles and the bishops of Great Millstone, who are worthy of double honors. And Yahweh Bashem Abu Shai Bahashem Rakak Wadash Braka Thumb to the 144,000 servants as well as the remaining elect of Israel. So I've got some information here from biometricupdate.com. And as you can see, it's dealing with the digital ID and uh, what's happening out there in the land of Ham, which is Africa. And basically, um, as you see, it's dealing with the digital ID, digital identification. So those of us that's in the know, um, as it pertains to the scriptures and especially the prophecies in the Bible, we know where this is leading to, okay? This is leading to the fulfillment of what the Apostle John saw on the Isle of Patmos over 2,000 years ago circa 96 AD, written in Revelation 13 and 16 concerning the mark of the beast. And that's the time frame that we're living in, prophetically, where Revelation 13 and 16 is going to be fulfilled on a global level, which ties in with um, Revelation 3 and verse 10 concerning the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, in the sense of the Greek word oikimeni, which means the inhabitants of the earth, to try them, okay? And that's pretty much the time that we're coming into. You know, we're coming into the time of great testing, the testing of our faith in Yahweh Bashma Shai, okay? Um, so let's read it. It says, Ethiopia, to make digital ID compulsory for access to government services. And this is um, very serious because all of us, in one way or another, we all have to access government services, okay? And again, you know, this should automatically make us think about Revelation 3 and verse 10. The hour of temptation, which is not literally 60 minutes, it's gonna be a season you know, whether it be a month, two months, you know, but it's going to be a period of time where um, our faith is going to be tested because pretty much without having the mark in which your digital ID is going to come in the form of the microchip implant, which is the mark, okay? Without having the microchip implant, you're pretty much going to be living a life off the grid. Okay, because as it stands, our life revolves around government services in a sense that in order to get employment, in order to work, you have to go through the government. Okay, you have to have identification, you have to do your taxes, so on and so forth. Now let's talk about your housing situation. <laughs> in order to get a house, you have to have ID. You have to be employed. You have to have a bank, which requires identification, so on and so forth. Let's say you need medical treatment or dental treatment. You need identification, which comes from where? The government. And so this is why it's gonna affect your life. This is why the time that we're coming into is known as the hour 
of temptation. The time that we're coming into is going to be um, a great time of testing and tribulation, hence the title of this year, you know, as coined by Apostle Daha, the year 2024 is the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. And at the heart of Jacob's trouble is um, the hour of temptation, Revelation 3 and verse 10. Okay, whereby Esau, Edom, the Edomites, through their wicked elite, the wicked elite, such as these various different central banking families, whether it be the Rothschilds or whoever, the shadow government, they're getting ready to entice the masses of people to sin via their device, okay? their technology, which ultimately is going to come in the form of the microchip implant. Because um, a part of their new world order, which right now they're branding as the Great Reset or the Fourth Industrial Revolution, which is defined as the merging of man and technology. Well, at the helm of their technology is going to be the microchip implant. And that's going to be their crafty way to enslave and be a god over the masses of people okay and pretty much whoever gets down with their program via their mark their microchip implant especially if you live over here in america you're going to be doomed to destruction thermonuclear fire via the nuclear missiles during the time of World War Three, which World War Three is on the horizon. Okay, you see what's going on out there in the Middle East. The tension that's happening between the United States and Iran and the state of Israel. That's all going to lead to World War Three and the Battle of Armageddon. Pursuant to Revelation 11 and verse 14. Revelation 16 verse 14 to verse 16. Which is ultimately going to um, result in the complete annihilation of America, which is Mystery Babylon the Great. Okay, and that's gonna fulfill the judgment for taking the mark, Revelation 14 verses nine to 10. Okay, because whoever gets down with Esau's beast system via the microchip implant, like I said, especially if you live over here in America, because America is going to be the main land that's going to be set on fire. That judgment is going to come in the form of thermonuclear missiles. Okay. As a matter of fact, let's get that real quick. In Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. The point is in verse 10. It says, And the third angel follow them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast which the beast that the apostle john is seen in his vision was symbolic for esau's revived roman empire in the form of nato the eu and america okay which collectively is the revived roman empire the revived greco roman empire and you worship the beast by joining yourself unto his system, okay? Which starts with the mind. It starts with your mind state, your state of mind, I should say. You know, um, being aligned wholeheartedly with his ideologies, whether it be his so-called human rights, you know, on the whole LGBTQ stuff, or you being into his philosophies his different religions but in the form of the mark is going to come physically okay via the microchip implant and um, this is why our lord said through Micah when you go to Micah chapter 2 and verse 10 the lord said arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted and it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction 
okay, because you um, disassociate yourself with Esau's B system through this truth, okay, through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your Arabash Shai, the understanding of these scriptures, knowing who you are, knowing that you're a Hebrew Israelite, okay, having faith in the names Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and what's written concerning the elect of Israel, which will all lead to you resisting Esau's B system. So this is why it's important to get this truth and this understanding. So therefore, you know, when you're presented with this mark, you, um, you know, you say no. <laughs> say no to drugs. <laughs> well, we're going to say no to the mark, Lord willing. You know, if Yahweh Bash Shai be with us. Because Yahweh Bash Shai is going to have to be with us, you know, to resist this hour of temptation and that's pursuant again to revelation 3 and verse 10 where yahweh shai said because thou has kept the word of my patience i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation so that's pretty much a promise that our lord has made with the elect you know concerning this truth in a nutshell our lord has pretty much said the ones that have done his will Okay, enduring in this truth, subscribing to the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability in their individual lives, having faith in Yahweh Bashma Shai, you know, doing the work. Um, well, he's gonna keep us from the hour of temptation, you know, through the Spirit, and that's what we're relying on. Oh. It also says in Isaiah 10 and verse 20 about how it shall come to pass in that day, meaning the time that we're coming into, that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, which is Esau, Edom, but shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Bashmael Shai, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. You see? So we're coming into a time where the elect of Israel are going to wholeheartedly put their faith, their trust in Yahweh Bashmah Shai for all their wants and needs. Wholeheartedly. Okay. Meaning, you know, when they're presented with the chip, all bets are off. So, hey man, it's going to get serious, man. It's going to, you know, it's going to get real. Okay. It says, if any man worship the beast and his image, the image is speaking about this system, this society, which is based on the ancient Roman Empire, and receive his mark, which is the microchip implant, in his forehead or in his hand. And as you see here, it doesn't actually specify which hand, because when you go to Revelation 13 and 16, it says the right hand, which really means your most dominant hand. Okay, so it could be either your right hand or your left hand. It says, The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, the Most High being the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of His indignation. The word indignation means righteous, justifiable anger. Okay, and our Lord is going to have that righteous, justified anger towards our people. Because um, right now our Lord is warning you about not taking that chip. He's warning you via his servants, the prophets, i.e. the apostles, the bishops, the elders, and the men of Great Millstone. Okay, we've been set up to warn you about this prophecy concerning the mark of the beast, Revelation 13 and 16. Okay, and how it's a sin worthy of death, a great death at that, which we're reading in Revelation 14 and 10, which is going to come in the form of thermonuclear missiles. We're warning you about, you know, taking that chip. So if you don't take heed to our warning and you go ahead and, and take it, our Lord is going to be justified in destroying you. Okay. So we've been set up as the watchmen 
you know, to give you that warning as it's written. Let me get this real quick and we'll come back to that. This is the book of Ezekiel 3 and verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. The house of Israel consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans. Okay, were the Hebrew Israelites. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So this is why you have so many videos going out from Great Millstone concerning this great prophecy, right? The mark of the beast, Revelation 13 and 16. Because we've been set up to warn you concerning the judgment, which is what we were just reading in Revelation 14 and 10. So let's go back to that. Revelation 14 and and 10 it says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high Yahweh Bashmel Shai which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and he as in those of you that take the chip the mark that get down with Esau's B system and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. The Lamb being our Lord and Saviour, Yahweh Shai, who's the ultimate sacrifice for our nation. Okay. And um, that fire, like I said, is going to come in the form of thermonuclear fire, nuclear missiles, ICBMs, during the time of World War Three, which World War Three is on the horizon. Okay, so this is what we're warning you about, man. Now, let's see what's being said here. It says, in the near future, all Ethiopians seeking government services will have to present a digital ID. The executive director of the Ethiopia National ID Program, this is his name, is quoted as telling a local news portal, I guess, out there in Ethiopia. It says, according to Zemichael, the move is part of a government plan to ensure that all government services are integrated into the digital ID. Although under 4 million people have so have so far been enrolled for the digital ID dubbed FADA. The country expects to register 90 million eligible citizens by 2028. 90 million. That's a lot of people. The initial deadline for this target was 2025, but this is no longer po possible as the process has witnessed significant delays. Let me see. Okay, let's keep reading. NIDP has taken a series of steps in the last months as part of its plan to expand the use of FADA. Apart from making the digital ID a compulsory credential for civil servants, and for students, the authority has also sealed a number of deals with some UN agencies to spend up to speed up, pardon me, to speed up the digital ID adoption. So as you see, the United Nations are behind this. Okay. It goes on to say, especially for groups like children and forcibly displaced persons. What does it say in the prophecy? Let's go to that. Revelation 13 and 16. Because it mentioned children, right? It says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, 
to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save meaning except he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name you see that and so this is why even children are going to be uh, pretty much forced you know to, to uh, get that mark otherwise they're going to suffer okay let's read this again it says the authority has also sealed a number of deals with some UN agencies to speed up the digital ID adoption especially for groups like children and forcibly displaced persons NIDP also has a collaboration with banks <laughs> to step up enrollment for digital ID. And there goes Revelation 13 and 17. And that no man might buy or sell. Because without this digital ID, which like I said, the digital ID ultimately is going to come in the form of the microchip implant, which is going to store all your information and your records as in your bank details you're not gonna be able to bank unless you have this digital id okay and again you know we 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 know that this digital id ultimately at some point in the, in the near future is going to come in the form of the microchip implant it's just a matter of time and we're just waiting for you know, some form of black swan event to um, usher in that microchip implant as being the solution or the order to whatever chaos is happening at that particular time. Okay. So that's pretty much all I'm going to, you know, bring out in this video here. You know, as it's written in Second Corinthians 2 and verse 11, lest Satan should get an advantage of us, the hopeful elect of Israel, that is, for we are not ignorant of his devices. And when you go into that word devices in the Greek, in um, 2 Corinthians 2 and verse 11, the Greek word is naima, which is defined as an evil plot, okay, or an evil thought. And we know the evil plot that the wicked elite of Esau are um, working on and that's for them to bring about their new world order and to, and to pretty much enslave the masses of people via their mark which is the microchip implant in which your digital ID is going to be on that microchip implant so I pray and hope that you're edified and Lord willing I'll catch you again in another lesson. Shalom.